What's up, Nation? Welcome back to another video. So we are going to continue our Camelot journey today as we claim Ian Rush and hopefully don't lose a lot of millions of coins. We've been waiting for this card to go down a lot in value. It's still pretty high in value the last time I looked. We're also going to claim our leaderboard rewards, which are not amazing because I haven't really grinded to FIFA champion yet, uh, which maybe one day we should probably actually do, um, but not yet. Not yet in this one, uh, so we're gonna go and we're gonna do that. We're gonna open up all the rewards that we got, do all those kind of fun things, play through our Camelot matches with our brand new addition to the team, Ian Rush, who I'm excited to use. I've liked using his cards before. I'm just not really sure about this Ian Rush card because he doesn't necessarily seem to have the best stats, uh, but I do find that he is a card that often outplays his stats. So we'll hope that happens this time. Um, let's get into it. Let's see what we got. All right, here we go. End of season rewards. Look at that. World class two. And I know what you would say. Stop D. If you just use the buttons, then you're going to make it a FIFA champion. Which I won't. First ones here. End of season rewards. Uh, end of season rewards for the next one. I feel like both of them are like some like 80 plus players. I mean, at this point, most of these rewards are not going to be super valuable. Um, at least it's a little bit more exciting when you do it this way because you don't know who you're going to get. Van Dyke. Not Van Dyke. <laughs> See? If this was a master one, then we wouldn't know who we're going to pack. So this is way better than being in FIFA champion because I just have no idea who I'm going to pack in any of these packs. Next one up, we're going to get... Ronaldo! Bruno. Bruno Fernandez. 88 overall, Bruno Fernandez. Not bad, actually. I think that's probably... 228, never mind. Uh, Hakimi, Da Silva. I mean, th those would be good cards if it was like early in the season or if there wasn't like a million better promo cards uh, out of that one. But uh, one gold player, not totally ideal. And now the moment of truth. How much are we going to be spending over the top on this Ian Rush card right here? So uh, 34 million he's gone down to. Oh, I think I'm still going to lose a lot. Given that there's 28 people still trying to do this one, I think we're about to lose a bunch of money on this one. But I want to try this card out. I said we would try this card out, so we're going to do that and just waste a lot of millions of coins on this one. So hopefully it won't be like too, too many millions, but definitely a few millions that we're going to lose in there. Uh, so Treasure Hunt here. So we got a new day of this one in the dungeon today. We have uh, Davies... 10 silver players and 200 skills. I'm still gonna hang on to those things though. I still feel like I should hang on to that until like I'm hoping for a day we'll actually get uh, some of these honor points out of that one. That's my that's my hope when we go there. All right, I'm gonna transfer this over to um, uh, make him 100 overall because I do want to see the 100 overall card art uh, on this card here. I actually like the 100. The 100 is pretty nice card art there uh, on this rush card. So he does boost up a little bit. I do have a little bit that I can boost him up on the skill boost. One extra there. Uh, so he's got 110 plus 6 on the acceleration. So good uh, acceleration. Really excited about that finishing. I feel like the finishing is definitely going to be something that's going to help with this card. Uh, dribbling, pretty good. Ball control, pretty good. Uh, decent strength, decent aggression. Uh, what's his rea good reactions? Good uh, balance. Where's his positioning? Really good positioning too. I don't know. He could be a good Guard. and he's got a high attacking work rate which i like uh heal the heal as the assigned move i'm not super super excited about but uh, could be all right uh power header outside the foot shot finesse shot uh there as well so we'll see how he plays for us i mean he could be really good i do like i said i feel like he's a card that plays better in game all right here we go decent ping to start this up both of us in the green which i like to see rush uh making some slow movement towards the players but uh that's okay marcelo going in there George Best looking to run down the wing. Marcelo, easy pickup on that ball there. And Blanc is going to move that into the middle of Fernandinho. Move that up. Cedar, first look at Rush here. Let's see what he's got. With that pass through. Oh, good pass out to the outside, actually. And a good run. And that's what I like to see from my strikers is them actually making runs down the pitch there. Uh, so a little bit of good give and go there. Because there are definitely some of them who just have zero forward momentum on them. So the high attacking work rate, I do feel, will be helpful for this card. David Rodrigo to Rush. Rush not able to get there. A bit of a terrible pass, so I'll accept that. Marcelo, George Best. Marcelo definitely drawing a foul there. And uh, not a great place to give up a foul, that's for sure. But maybe they'll take it quick. They still go for it, and Modric is actually going to get there instead. Drogba, that's got to be uh, a penalty shot. Are you kidding me? What? Save it. How? Okay, Cedar finds Rush. Rush, one, two, play back to him. See, look at that play right there. Let's see a good finish, and I cannot believe it. We missed again. Stop, D, use the buttons. No. Good play there. Rush gets there first, fights on that ball. Modric is going to pick up the free kick there. See him on the outside. Get it out to him. Let's go with this one. Okay, here we go. Rush. 
Top of the 18, what is his skill move? Oh my goodness, does he really not have enough skill moves? I'm here trying to do the lane change roll because I assume he would have skill moves to do lane change roll. And then I heal to heal it because he doesn't have enough to do the lane change roll. Unbelievable. Okay, I can see why this card is dropping in value so quickly. I mean, he's decent, but to only have enough to do, like, what does he have? Two star skill moves? I should have looked at that before, but uh, two star skill moves, maybe. Maybe three. He might be three, but he's definitely... Not high enough skill moves uh, to be a starter. I think maybe a super sub. We could try using him as a super sub. He's got a good run there. Um, and especially with the fact that heal to heal is not a great skill move this year. Oh my goodness. That was beautiful from Zanetti. Theodore sends it out to Rush. Rush is trying to get past him. Not going to work there. And yet are in the box. And a beautiful finish. Okay. So we uh, brought Rush on. I'm going Super Sub the other way. I'm definitely going Rush as a Super Sub in the next game. Because I feel like um, I feel like he's going to be good second half, maybe. Um, he just he doesn't have it. He doesn't have, the, uh, uh, he doesn't have the skills, I feel like, to compete as a starter for me right now. Which is sad, because I really feel like this would have been a good card. Rodrigo gets into the box. Rodrigo with his lane change roll. Can't get there. Yeah, there you go. Penalty shot for penalty shot. That's how we do it. I... Don't think either of them should be penalty shots, but at least we're calling this game terribly but even. As we go, Vandersar, nothing to do there. And it is two to one. So I'll accept it. You can give that penalty shot earlier because I don't think I deserve that penalty shot either. All right, win one. I don't know how much uh, Rush contributed to our victory there, uh, but he did come out and uh, bring in Ben Yatter, who changed the game for us. So, all right, we're going to put him in second half. I don't know if this is the best decision. I mean,. I was not super impressed uh, impressed with his uh, impressed impressed with his play in the first match, but maybe he's gonna make it happen for us in this uh, in this second game here. Baldrich, rush, he's in pass. Oh, he gets there. He'll heal, heal it. Oh, that's a foul. I mean, he earned that foul in a good spot right here. We'll see if we can get the uh, free kick after. Goes for it. A easy goal right there from Modric. Um, I mean, I like that. Uh, I like that aggression. I mean, he definitely earned that free kick for us. We still have a lot of work to do to get that second goal back. And I don't think that they're going to push offensively very much in this game uh, based on how they were playing the first part of this. So uh, we'll see what happens here. Zanetti gets there. Rush get there first. He does. And he makes a good run after. Get that ball back through. What are you doing there? Oh, ah, shoot. I really thought he was going to get there in time. Bale making that play there. Into the middle to Rush. Rush looks to send it and he gets a pass to Bale. And Bale in the box. And Bale, what are you doing? Ah, oh, I should have got on that better. Okay, Zanetti. Let's see. He's got power header. Blanc. Header. Blanc, no. Rush on it. Good work from a Modric comes in there. Goes with this. Can't get it back to him. Chiellini, Bale. Everybody gets on this. Beckham, let's go, Fernandinho. Oh, Marcelo, no, that was bad. Vidorf, back out. No way! Ah! Why you... Ah! <laughs> Why would you call the game there? The ball up there. Good play to Rodrigo. Back to Vinicius. And that's the goal. That's 3-1. And that should be the dub. All right, we'll start this play up from the back. With Marcelo here. Marcelo moves out to Modric. Modric to Vinicius. Up to Rush. Rush, good play. And uh, his little give and goes definitely uh, do work out. Well, they're not working out for me. But he's uh, at least making the runs that he needs to make there. Rush, stay on that ball. He's got good passes. I should look at what his passing is. Because he does seem to have good passing. Should we just cross it just for fun here? Let's see if he can do it. I mean, you shouldn't cross. But that was pretty nice. Uh, from you, it was wide open. You should have done. I was expecting. Does he have power header? It's like he's got power header and he goes for this like beautiful uh, volley into the net. Thank it. I'm sorry. I just wanted to see. I bought a player for like 40 million coins who has like crazy good heading and power header. I wanted to see if I could actually get a power header with him. Oh, he's got a good pass. Vinicius can't get the shot off though. Take a ball out to the outside to Modric. Into Rush. Rush gets in the box. Gets the shot. Puts it in. 
All right, he's starting to play for us now. And I think that's the thing. He's got great positioning. Like, he gets into a good spot for you. He can move the ball around well. But you're definitely needing him as a playmaker. If you're not using him as a target man up front, I think you're going to run into a lot of issues with this card because he can't make those runs. But if you get him that ball in the midfield, I'd almost, like, I'd almost want to play him as a center forward role instead of a striker role, uh, to be honest, when I'm looking at this card here. Because he can definitely move the ball around. He makes some good runs when he needs to make them. Um, but has some good passes and... Uh, which I, th I think is definitely a benefit of this card here. Okay, Rush, good one to play back out to Rodrigo. I love to see that from him there. Rodrigo tried to find it in there. He does get it to Seedorf, to Vinicius, to Rush with a one-time effort. And, I mean, he was facing the wrong direction. He's not going to score that. I don't really know why I even bothered trying that one. Oh, but Rodrigo gets it back. Draws a foul, though. Okay, right, Seedorf. The rush, make the run. Good ball if he was on side and he somehow was. Rush! <laughs> it's another one of those situations where I probably should have just scored the first goal, but I really wanted to get Rush a goal, so uh, I'm probably going to pay for that one later. Move that ball to Modric. He's going to get on that. He's going to stay on it and he's going to put that in. I mean, I feel like that was all Modric, but uh, I got to give Rush some credit. He saw that Modric was the one who's going to put it in and gave it to him. So we'll give him half points for that one. Okay, you're a bit offside. There you go. Onside, stop and turn, and there's the goal. The target man. You just got to find him in the spot in the top of the box. Not try and shoot it from facing the opposite direction like I did the other time, and then you got a good goal. I still don't think he's worth kind of what you would have to put in to get this card. I mean, he's good. I don't think he's good enough to compete. Not after Ultimate Team of the Season. With some of the Ultimate Team of the Season cards you can get for basically the same price, I don't think that this uh, this Rush card is, is above and beyond enough to make it worthwhile. Bale. Bale, on the other hand. Okay, here we go. Bale. The Rush. Can't score and finish. So put it in. All right. So I tried to get him another goal. I really did. It just didn't work out. But Vinicius will put it in anyways. I mean, Bale probably should have scored that to start with. It's like the play. I think it's the player who's trying to take out Bale earlier too. Slides, misses Bale, but blocks the shot. That's good defending right there. That's just nothing but good defending. Now there you have it. That is the end of that one. So I mean, he was a decent card. I didn't mind him at all uh, in that one, but uh, I don't think he would be a card that I will keep on my team. I'm definitely going to be selling him as quickly as I can to get back as many coins as I possibly can off of this card because I think I'm about to lose a lot of millions uh, as he continues to drop in price. Uh, but thank you for checking this out. Thank you for stopping by. It's been a pleasure to talk to you.